Hello everyone and welcome back to House Flipper. So, really great news. I had a whole video recorded. It was like an hour long. I was going to edit it and cut it down. Started editing it and turned out my microphone wasn't plugged in properly. So, the little cord at the back it looked plugged in, but it was slightly out enough so that it didn't record anything that I said. So, uh, in that episode, I just did a heap of renovations. I bought my first house and started updating that. Started painting it where I could. There were just like a heap of holes and stuff on the walls. So that was obviously something that I'll have to continue doing the renovations to learn and then I'll come back and patch up the holes. Yeah, so let's jump right back into the game. So the reason I haven't uploaded a video in quite a while is because I just recently moved house in the last week um, and it took me a little while to settle in. But now we are in and we are officially completely moved out of the old place. Oh, I thought I'd change this. Um, yeah, we officially moved out of the old place so we can actually start trying to figure things out and yes, it'll just be much better. So let's quickly uh, clean this. So I thought I changed the mouse settings. I'm going to quickly jump back in and do that again. Okay, that seems a bit better. So let's go back inside. So we did also kind of update this all as well. Um, it's looking a lot nicer in here than it was. Put in a new bed and some new shelves in there. I also believe, yes, I tiled in here the floor and the walls. Um, and I believe I also put in all new, like, a toilet and a shower and everything. So it looks way better in here, which I'm a big fan of. That actually looks okay. So let's head out and let us go over to our house and see how that's going. I'll show you guys what I did in the uh, previous episode. So this was the house I bought. I bought it only for, like, hang on, how much? Oh, yeah, 64000 And I've spent... Uh, What's that make it? $1,700. Um, sold stuff for $2,700. So I haven't actually lost that much money like renovating or anything yet. So this is what it looked like. It was really gross. It was really gross. So I think I just went through and sold absolutely everything. Um, we'll head over there. Okay, so this is how the house looks. I don't actually know if I can like clean this garden up at all but let's get rid of all this mess um right so yeah, i'll take you inside i'll show you what it looks like oh boy just missed the door so yeah it's kind of gross i've um painted the walls where i can so you can kind of get an idea of like where needs to be patched up and whatnot um and then i started doing a really nice light and bright kitchen with sort of this like gray feature wall um, I also, oh geez, okay, I've lost all control of this game. So I also put down a new bed. I know it's quite gross, but I um, yeah, put down a new bed and I'll have to obviously paint these rooms as well. My gosh, it's really gross. So let's quickly just clean up a bit more. I mean, how do you get so many spiderwebs inside your house? I'm not really super sure how that happens, but yeah. So um, I believe you can also go into like this little, this here, and you can actually see like the Jason family, no information, this guy. So we've got no information yet, but I believe once we sell, we're able to get like pros and cons. And then as we do things, like as I clean, so like cleaning there, um, oh gosh. So yeah, as I clean, people like make comments and stuff like that and say, oh, we prefer this like this, this like this. So Oh, yuck, this place is so gross. <laughs> you kind of get an idea of um, what you need to do through that. I also have another little room in here. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this one yet, but I might head back to the other place and try and pick up like a, oh gosh, try and pick up a plastering job so I can um, plaster this one up. Okay, so it looks like we've got quite a few jobs. We've got cleaning houses. So like there's a lot of cleaning this one just needs cleaning and painted rooms. Clean out my garage. It's like hanging some pictures and stuff like that. I'm assuming this one's like a lot of painting and painting can be a bit tedious. I might just do this garage one quickly and hope that something pops up that's got the, um, the plastering kind of goal in it. 
Okay, so this is the garage here. Let's open it up. Okay, you can already see that it's really dirty looking. Right. So let's, um, I wonder, can you, what, I've lost all my stuff. So I think you can only have like the specifics that you need um, for each of the projects. Like this one I only need to clean and to throw things out. Whereas like other ones I've needed to sell stuff. And so I'm just going to quickly whip through, finish off this job and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got back from doing the uh, cleaning. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> uh, it was just a heap of cleaning, heap of throwing out. So I might just go this inhabitable bunker. Seems like something a bit different, but I kind of want to, Ugh, I really want to find this plastering thing. So I'm just going to like power through some of these. And um, if I get to the plastering, then I will let you guys know. Okay, so I'm gonna just travel back to the house again and I'm going to see what we can do because I'm getting a little bit over doing all these little nitpicky jobs when I could be doing the house. I know all I need to do is plaster. I don't even know if I need to learn how to plaster first. I'm gonna try and figure out that now in case I'm just wasting my time figuring that out. It might be like a learning thing. You only go to learn, but you can actually use it when you're here. So I'm just going to head straight in okay let's find a wall and it says you need a bucket of plaster to fill the hole in the wall so if i go to this and i type in plaster can i literally just buy the bucket oh my god i've been waiting for so long to plaster these bloody walls you need to load plaster okay hold to plaster ah <sighs> oh my god if only it were that easy <laughs> right that looks much better and we've got another skill so mounting plastering let's upgrade our or oh, let's upgrade our mounting mounting takes so long okay are there any other holes in this room don't think so so does that mean we can start painting what's this let's sell that Boop. and let's go back to our whoops store get some white paint white pa nope paint white let's buy that let's put that down here and let us which one's paint three okay so it looks like i've fully painted this area i don't know if i can like get rid of these light switches or what's going on there oh i can dispose of them <laughs> okay so i'll just quickly dispose of those guys I can start putting radiators around now too. So I'm going to quickly um, just do that. I don't know if I need to fix this or if it's fine. Looks fine. Okay, so let's throw in some radiators. Radiator. Nope. Installation. Radiator. So let's throw this guy in. And I also kind of feel like the house overall just needs some color because I've made it very white and bright but I want to add like heaps of pops of color and stuff everywhere I feel like that would be really fun so I'm feeling like a kitchen in this sort of area here and then maybe like a dining table here or sorry a living room like tv stuff there gosh a kitchen there's already a kitchen um <laughs> I just quickly whip these together Okay, so radiator's done. Now let's think about what we want to do with this living room. I kind of want the TV to be there and the couch to be like looking towards it. So let's head over here and let's go TV. Here we go. So we've got hanging TV or a TV. I kind of want a TV like this to go on top of uh, like a cupboard, small shoe cupboard, modern hanging cabinet. I want like a TV cabinet. We've got this one here, which is quite nice. More shoe cabinet, shoe cabinet, shoe cabinet, shoe cabinet. Okay, so I think that's our best bet on a TV cabinet. Let's see what colors we can make it. We can make it like a nice cherry. Oh, geez, maybe not bright pink. Maybe we could go like a blue. No, I'm thinking blue. Let's go with a blue cabinet and let's put it right underneath that window there then let's go with a tv so let's throw the tv on top uh, which we cannot do why why can we not do oh ooh. yes tv okay now a couch maybe like a nice big gray couch let's see chairs nope what would it be under is there like a 
sofas. Here we go. Let's see, we got a dark leather. That's pretty nice. Yeah, let's go that. I am pressing shift, but it's apparently not doing anything. So just got to rotate it really slow like. So we can throw that in there now. So now we've got a TV and I'm feeling a dining table maybe here. So let's find a nice, oh, that's not how you spell table. Let's find ourselves a nice table. Oh, I know why nothing's popping up because I'm not in the all category. So now if I type in table, there we go. So we got a simple table. What about this one? I know it's like a really gross cheapy one, but no, I think gray against the radiator. And then like a chair on either side. Spring chair, what about this? It's like, I know it's green, but it's something, right? <laughs> We put a chair there and a chair over here. Oh my God, it takes so long to rotate. So let's throw that there. Now, oh wow, that's dirty. Let's um, clean some of this mess away. You'd hope there's not much dirt left. I've done a fair bit of cleaning to the place. Okay, just remove a little more dirt and this house will be perfectly clean. Well, that's the plan. So I'm just gonna do these windows really quickly. I hate doing windows, so I'm gonna skip over this for you guys. Okay, I feel like this, oh gosh, where am I? I'm in the ceiling, I'm in the ceiling, okay. I feel like this wall needs, oh my gosh, okay. This wall <laughs> needs a painting or something, so let's have a look at paintings. Paints, oh no, pictures and paintings, here we go. Oh, a nice big water lily painting, how will that look? Like that, I like that. Have we got some like, can we put some flowers or something on the, on here? Plants? A little fern? Can we put a little? Oh, we can. Let's change the color of the pot though. Let's change it to blue. What color is lily? Now let's go blue. A blue pot. And we'll put that on the bench. That looks nice. Now let's pick this up and move on to another room. Place that down there. Someone just said, where are the flowers? But I put flowers in. I'm very confused. Can I sell this door and get a new door as well? Whoops. <sighs> sell that door. Get a new black door. Can I not put that there? Okay, put a nice door there. I might move this back a smidgen. And can I put like a rug? Rough. Rug. Oh, I'm in doors again. Hang on a second. Oh wait, it's in carpets I believe. Let's find carpet. And let's go with a nice little rug in the center there. Also wouldn't mind to put a plant over this side. Now for colors of rooms and stuff like that, none of these are, I'm going a very blue themed place if you guys haven't noticed. So let's put that down there. Flowers, great. Um, I'm sorry woman, that's a plant, that's not flowers. Okay, let's switch to plastering let's load some plaster up and let's fill in the wall and i think i kind of want this room to be like a study maybe so what color can we do a study let's do it like a nice warm color like this maybe bright peach or yeah i'm feeling bright peach let's go with this one i think we are all painted so let's get rid of the paint and let us tidy this up quickly. Okay, so it looks like we're clean now. I'm just gonna quickly throw the radiator on. We don't tend to have radiators. Like I don't know that I really ever see any radiators in Australia. They all tend to be like, we've got fireplaces and we've got like gas heaters and stuff like that. Cause gas heating, like natural heating is pretty common and like air conditioners for heating are pretty common as well. Okay, so I'm feeling a study right about there. So let's move this to here and let's get ourselves a desk maybe this nice computer desk here maybe just something like nice and plain like this and let's go for a more like warm toned theme in here i think ah i'm rotating the wrong way okay that there have we got like can we search for like a computer we can can i like put in a computer i kind of also want like monitor let's just put this monitor in there Oop, there let's get ourselves a desk chair that's also gonna be red themed gonna rotate it all the way around the other way what do i think of this color 
No, I actually don't like that color. I might go with black if they've got it. Striped maybe? Gray. Let's go gray. So that in there. What else can we put in there here? Is there like a bookshelf? I'm a big fan of this Venge wood, but wood cherry. Yeah, let's go this cherry one. And let's give them a nice little bookshelf here. And let's put a painting up on the wall. Is there like a... I get the feeling like a sunset photo would go really nicely in here. There's a sunrise. That could be good. Okay, it looks like we're going with this... Sun oh, wait. What's that? What's that? What's that? Sunset. Yes. Picture of the sunset. Bye. Why would you rotate it like that? I mean, I feel like we need a couple of pictures if they're this size. Let's go this one down low. Let's go picture of a winter track up here. And let's go steps on the river, like there. Cool. Oh yes, yeah, so let's get rid of this quickly and get a new light. Is it in lamps? Oh, ceiling lamps, right. Maybe just like a little cube. No, I like brass. Let's go with the brass one. Let's put that in the center of the room there. Okay. Now onto the oh, other bedroom. Let's power through this bedroom and I'll um, get back to you guys as soon as I've finished painting. Okay, the room looks painted. So I'm just going to clean up a bit because there's still a bit of dirt and stuff. There's also some spider webs. So let's get rid of those. Okay, now let's move, wait, let's sell this. Let's move this just, uh, oh my gosh, okay, I'm going to have to, annoyingly enough, sell this and buy a radiator. Okay, and now I'm going to put a bed back in. Let's, oh, that's why I couldn't move it. Grr. Okay, um, so let's buy a bed. I'm kind of feeling frame gray. Oh yeah. Backing cream. Oh, <gasps> okay. Yes. Love this. Absolutely love this. So let's put the bed there. Bed there. And let's, um, is there like bedside tables? I feel like that will probably look, oh, let's go gray actually. Cause I went, no, let's go with that Venge, I think. We've stuck with that color throughout. Let's go with it in here as well. So let's put that and let's buy a little like bedside table lamp. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Let's go with this one. Why can I? Oh, here. Oh, oh. Okay, one there. <laughs> this is really hard. And then I'll put one exactly the same. And oh, God. Oh, okay, breathe. Now, is there like bedding blankets? I don't know. I just kind of feel like, what's a sconce? Oh, survival tables. I don't know. I kind of wanted like to put something on top of it, but it looks so bare. Double bed warming. Oh, that could have been nice too. Oh, I've already got it now. Let's throw a little rug down, then move on to the uh, bathroom. And then I'm going to sell the place, sell my very first Place, which is really cool. So let's see about gray, big gray under the bed. Right, what else can we add to this room? Um, oh, I better add doors. Hey, so door, let's go internal door, white, a cupboard. Oh, let's put in a dresser. Let's put in a nice big, well, that's not that big. Let's put in this little dresser here, like that. Okay, love it. Bathroom, don't love it so much. I'm just gonna quickly mount, uh, clean and mount, and I'll show you guys what I did. Okay, so here is my finished bathroom, obviously, except for a clean window um, and a new light as well, but I've put in the toilet and the shower and the sink, a nice little plant and a dark mirror to kind of break things up a little bit. I wanted to go like a dark gray tile on the floor, but they didn't have any. So dark green was the closest I could find. Quickly clean this window. Okay, pretty happy with that. I kind of want to put that little um, shoe, there's a small shoe cabinet. Oh, maybe this one. Invenge handle steel. I think this would look pretty cool by the front door. You come in and you take your shoes off and can leave them there. Okay, I don't know what else I need to do really 
Uh, yeah, I don't think I can do anything with the outdoor. Unfortunately, I think it has to stay quite gross. <laughs> you can't do any gardening or anything that I know of. If you can, let me know in the comments below. Am I missing something? Uh, yeah, I probably am missing something. <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, so I think just quickly. Yeah, this front door also I think needs to be replaced. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so we go inside. Okay, I am liking this a lot. Did I get rid of this? Yes, I did. I got rid of the ceiling lights in here. So I'm going to throw in a couple more. Uh, maybe these one. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I can do. So we're going to sell our first place. So we bought it for 64860 We've been working on it for an hour and a half. So let's start the auction. Let's see. Okay, like the big kitchen. Whoa, 104. Already straight up 104. Oh my gosh, 107. This is crazy. Double bed, there's no private space, only for myself. Um, tenants value two bathrooms. This study should be near where I sleep. It's the next room over. There are too many rooms. Uh, exactly one bedroom. Perfect. No place for my documents and book. You put a bookshelf in. There's no big family room. I probably could have put more couches. Walls need plastering. What? Clean, although a little artistic disorder would not bother me at all. 115,000. So I spent overall, what did I spend? Eight. No, it's about 9,000. And I ended up making $44,000. Should I negotiate the offer a little bit? Let's do it. Let's negotiate. Let's increase it by like, like a thousand dollars. You reckon they'll accept? Let's increase it. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Let's accept. Oh my gosh. We just made like $115,000. Well, $44,000. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so let's jump straight back in and buy ourselves another house because now we have like 130, 140,000. Oh, amazing. Okay. This is so cool. All right, let's see what other houses we've got to work on. So we bought that last one for 60. I think it was Variable Woman's House. Hucker's House. This place looks cool. I mean, it's been quite destroyed, but it's really cool. Let's buy this house. Oh, let's go have a look and do a bit of tidying up. Oh my God, how exciting. Um, no, I don't want to sell my office. I like that I've got my tiny little office. So let's throw that out straight away. Let's, uh, what is going on here? Why, what? A board, boarded up, it's all boarded up, okay. Ooh, got a bit of graffiti inside. But the outside's quite nice, I like the outside. Let's quickly get rid of some of this graffiti. All right, that already looks tons better. Just have a quick walk around the outside and see what we've got. And I kind of want to make this one like a big family home, you know, like, oh gosh. So let's just uh, dispose, dispose. Okay, so it's very dirty inside, but at least it's like all boarded up outside. So a lot of this graffiti is actually not on the walls and I can just dispose of this here. Yeah, okay, let's go in through the back door. I mean, it's more like little cluttery rubbish. I might get rid of this, but I do like the like darker walls in here, the kind of like dark green walls. I might keep that with the darker cabinets and stuff. I actually quite like that. So I'm thinking I might replicate this as is because yeah i'm really enjoying this so let's see we've got um kitchen 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 okay so we've got our green kitchen i'm pretty happy with the way that looks i'm going to throw some cupboards up the top here and um and then i'm going to call this so i'll quickly show you once i've done the cupboards okay so there we go i think these cupboards are slightly crooked i'm just going to shift this one down really quickly Okay, so I'm gonna call it here. Um, when I end this episode, I'm gonna quickly run around the house and just tidy it up, like clean all the graffiti and clean all the muck and stuff. So I'm not wasting time recording that for you guys next time. But if you guys enjoy this and think I did well on my first house, remember I got $44,000 profit. If you think I did well, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my very next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.